This is how you grow. This is how you grow. at this point bro annapolis is so like i you literally cannot get on the weekends unless you put in like a reservation like multiple days before like even for i just wanted to go to, like a breakfast spot which i had to go on a first watch so like 40 minute wait what was it 45 minute wait and then we come into this sandwich shop so yeah settled for it's mediterranean place so hopefully it's good i'm gonna go to starbucks show you guys some of the elysium stuff that i'm working on some of the new designs hopefully this place is good but yeah literally in the weekend there's so much people that like live here especially retired so a lot of old heads and i guess they just love eating out on the weekends because you literally cannot get into anywhere unless you put a reservation in i can't tell you the amount of old people who have looked at me when i walked into a restaurant here <laughs> it's been nine months together today all right i got a uh, lamb and chicken I use a fork. Try out the chicken first. I mean, it looks good. It's just small portions. How much was that? Mm. Oh. Mm. Is it good? Hot. Is it good? Mm hmm. All right. So we're working on the uh, the next Elysium drop right now. We just did like the biggest drop we ever did and it was a huge success. It was like twice as big as any one we've done and it's still the demand. Like I was surprised, honestly, but I'm thinking about doing these joggers. The color isn't the best, it's gotta focus more. So basically we're just doing the last joggers we did, just changing them a little bit. Instead of like the wings, we're gonna put an EA logo um, and then doing two new colors, a brown with an off-white and then a, like a cream with like a, like a baby blue. Like would be sick. I want to do like this this drop where we do like a collection of like ancient warriors. So like one being like a crusader, like a templar knight, a uh, gladiator, a berserker, valkyrie. Like just like cool. You know what I mean? They're really dope. So I got back like some some design prompts for that. Um, and uh, show them the berserker too, real quick. I'm already happy. I'm waiting to get back like another three today, and then I'm gonna go through the sampling process. And I think we might do a new type of t-shirt for some of them, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's like an oversized heavy tee. So those are always dope, and then we'll do the uh, stone wash stuff like we usually do. I think the next shop that we're gonna go like heavy t-shirts, it's like a bunch of t-shirts with like cool designs, like a whole collection. Should be our first collection. Everybody already is already is asking when is our next drop. So it'll be sometime in April. My goal is to get it like get this working, get the samples within the next week. And if the samples are good, we'll be able to do the drop of, like a week or so after the samples so i would like to be able to do another drop in like two to three weeks we're out to go train here a little bit so and we're gonna go hit legs i'm gonna take abby through my leg day because she i'm gonna make her train intense like she trains hard but she doesn't train hard hard like me so i'm gonna take her through it we're at gold's gym i'm gonna be taking abby through my leg day she's she's taking me through her little leg day booty workout whatever but i do glutes and hamstrings i don't ever train quads women don't tend to train as hard as men do like that's just being straight, like there are some women, like you ever see like the Brazilian chicks who go hella hard on Instagram? We train differently. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna take you through like my workout, like more intensity based, like Dorian Yates, really? like we're gonna do low volume, high intensity, it's to failure, be, past failure. It's just gonna be more difficult. Like I said, I don't ever train quads. Like I never train them because I'm like quad dominant. Like literally, I haven't trained quads in two months. So I'm just gonna take you through it. You don't know how it is. Yeah, Force reps be hitting different. All right, so we're gonna be taking the pump today. I'm not usually on leg days. I don't like too many stimulants because my heart will get like my heart rate goes crazy. <clears throat> so I'm taking the pump. This is the pink line. Hey, this is a pump flavor, so you can't get this flavor, but there's still might a. Be coming back, possibly. Oh yeah, could be coming the... back. I'll be helping them make my own like pre-workout line, which is gonna be like a max dose formula. And we're also working on a gaming supplement. So I just asked people the other day what they thought of the gaming supplement. I'll pop up the formula right here. Let me know what you guys think. It's got I think six patented ingredients in it, and we're going through the flavors. So I'm trying to think what we should do. Uh, and I asked you guys. A lot of people were saying pink lemonade sour gummy worm and then sour green apple was like the top ones i was getting so i think that's what we're gonna try let me know if you guys have one in the comments what we should run oh also if you guys want to try alpha line without changing your pre but you just want to add to the pre that you already take i recommend taking the s7 or the nitrosogene these are like it's called gain scanny there's these little pills um so you can add it to whatever pre you take because it's not gonna interfere with the flavor you just take them as pills but the nitric oxide benefits of this is insane i'm pretty sure s7 increases your nitric oxide by 230 percent nitric oxide is what's basically going to give you a pump and cause like vasodilation and stuff so if you want to take these just some simple things you can just pop before your workout just to amplify your pump code alex again 15 percent off so starting off with calves the theme for today's workout 
is first set is a like pump set in that 15 rep range and then two hard working sets to failure with a drop set. So that's what I'm gonna do even for the calves. So I'm starting off with calves. I just heard that it helps with like your mobility, how deep you can get into a squat and it's a weak point for me. So I might as well start on it just to kind of warm up. So I'm gonna do my first working set and uh, do that concept. Go to failure around 10 to 12 reps and then drop the weight, same thing. And then some, you know, partials and whatnot, static holds. I stepped on your headphones. I broke them. Did you actually? No. I would step on yours right now and break yours. <clears throat> All right, so next up we're doing leg extensions. The biggest thing that's helped me with my leg training is making sure that I start with the movement that's gonna get blood in my knee. That prevents my knee pain for usually the rest of the lift, even better than the knee sleeve. So we're starting off with a leg extension. We're just gonna do one feeder set, one failure set, and then we're gonna get into the actual workout. I hate how they teach you in school to like do like static stretches and stuff before lifts. The best type of like warm up something that gets you blood. Like before PE, all it was was static. The biggest thing is like blood is blood is key. Wherever you get the blood to, it's gonna be like more lubricated, more warm. So I'm doing the leg extensions right now, not even as much for quad activation, maybe a little bit, like a pre-exhaustion thing, but just to get blood in my knees. So I wanna go into this hack squat with this leg press, my knees will feel a lot smoother and just more protected. What I'm gonna do for this failure set is what me and Mikey do. Every third rep, you have to make me fight against it on the way up. Okay. You push down on every third rep. You know what I'm saying? One, two. I'm gonna need help. Oh my lord. This shit hurts. What? I'm so nervous. Why? I don't train my quads. One. You push that hard. I'm not pushing hard. Come on. Two. One. Now partial. Hold it at the top. Hold it. Hold it right here. Hold it right here. Right here. Right here. All right, so next up, we're doing, I, I usually would do hack squat, but there's only one hack squat in this gym and the guy's on it, so we're gonna go into leg press, which is what I usually would do second, because I think hack squat's harder than leg press. So the issue I'm gonna struggle with here <clears throat> is that I'm gonna need to push a lot more weight than her. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna try to figure it out. These are my favorite tank tops, stringers if ever drop. They're stretchy. This is what I usually always wear in the spring, summer when I'm shredded. I'm just fat, I've been fat. That's it, you have anxiety and you hit legs. But like as soon as your heart or your brain like feels your heart beating that fast, you have to like tell yourself like I not like, to have a panic attack. I wanted to like hold your <laughs> I was about to be like, help. <laughs> I was trying to get the osmosis strength. I was trying to do the thing where you, I tell you there's one rep and then they make you do more. Another I thought you one. said. <laughs> I was like, I know what you're doing.
good. When I hit legs hard, I feel like I get in like an alternate like state of mind. It's almost like when you're driving on a highway and like you're driving from like point A to point B and like you just somehow got there. You know what I mean? That's how I feel like I am, like the way my huh? It's called highway hypnosis. Leg day hypnosis. It's like the same thing. It's like I just by the time I'm done, I'm like, bro, what just happened? Cause like I feel so out of body. It's like an out of body experience when I train legs. We gotta do some uh, hamstring though. Okay, that I can do. Hamstring and, and then finish off with the doctor. I feel so burnt. I feel like if I just go to failure on the hamstrings, I'll get more out of it. My CNS feels fried right now. <sighs> Heavier. What? What? It hurts? Why you look like that? You look like nugget. Huh? Why are you doing that face? Does it hurt that bad for you? I don't want to train like a pussy. Ah. It hurts like that for you? <sighs> <sighs> oh, okay, I'm trying to. I'm still. I have a cover photo for your next photo, Adele. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Finishing off hamstring curl, and then we're done. I'm so done. <laughs> It just took us about 40 minutes to find a parking spot in Annapolis on a Sunday. That's warm. Absolutely beautiful day today, but oh my lord, the amount of people who live down here, especially old heads, I got like a like beef with old people now. I can't go to a dinner spot without having to do like a two hour wait down here. I can't go to a lunch spot because there are all the old old people just sitting out eating food the whole time. It's different around here. Like a lot of people retire here. So it's just like like overpopulated. It took us 40 minutes to find a spot. Shout out the farmer, guy where I'm getting my uh, my meats and stuff from, Hidden Waters, let me park at his office, or else we would have just straight up went home. It's so dark. I know how to do it. Can you stop? All right, <clears throat> we're dry 85. It's like a like a bourbon place. I'm a big bourbon guy, even though I don't drink. I have like half a drink and then I'm done if I ever do drink because I got two sips. Two sips. Honestly, it's actually kind of it's actually crazy. I feel like I have the lowest tolerance in history of mankind. Probably because I'm a low body fat. Anyways, this one's three hundred dollars for probably like ten sips total of whiskey for three hundred dollars. It's crazy to me. So we're gonna stick with the $16 one. All right, before you guys call me a fake Christian, this is look, this is like, this is like half a sip. Or half a gulp. Half a gulp? Half a gulp. <laughs> what is this one, barrel? This is like the, the company. It's alphabetical. Oh yeah. Let's see. Creamy, pretty silky. The trace is easier. I like the barrel more than the trace. This is the cream brulee. Are you Sorry. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'd rather have it. I can't do it straight up. I need like old fashioned. I need like like syrup. It's George Washington. It's George Washington. It's George Washington. I don't even know what we just did. What did we do? We just walked around the whole time. It's really nice out. We got a coffee and a burger. Look how cool look like the aesthetic of taking pictures in front of there. Nugget does not like cars. I don't think she likes this. Look, she looks so stressed. Think okay. about it, like Alex, whenever we first got her, we never took her in the car anywhere. Check it me out. Uh, here. So we're at the Elysium warehouse now pretty much finishing the orders bro for being a company That's like still pretty new like we be getting stuff done really quick last orders going out These go out tomorrow. Yeah, so the last orders from the drop should be out tomorrow If you guys want to go check out I think there's like maybe a few of the pump covers left the drop was an enormous success It was the biggest shop we ever did and you guys still showed a lot of love So I'm already in the process of working on the next one Which is gonna be even bigger than this one almost twice as big and it's gonna be so dope like so many designs all the way It's gonna be sick. I'm really excited for it. We just had the drop I don't know last week and we're already pretty much done with all the orders um, and we all do it ourselves in-house. We don't outsource it like other companies do. So yeah, also working on finishing the Elysium gym is almost like done. Getting more of the equipment in today, which I'll show you guys once it's done. Um, it's getting pretty filled up in there. Getting the uh, cable crossover thing. I'll show you guys. Sucks that I can't train right now because of my shoulder, which is feeling a little rough. I get PRP on Tuesday. It's like an injection. Probably vlog that whole thing. Took the Shelby out today. Love this car. 
I miss this one so much. I'm already thinking though, like I think my next car, like my dream car garage, uh, I already pretty much have two of them, which is the M5 and the GT500. The M5 is my daily. The 500 is like my fast in a straight line. The next thing I'd probably want to get would be something that's good for like a track. So that would probably be, I honestly would love to get like a GT4 or GT4. GT4 RS would be cool. I just feel like that's going to be too expensive for a car for me. If some of you guys did not know, we are going to be moving here after we are done in the house that we have now. So me and the twins moved into that house together. We have about 11 months left there. It is a lease like tax write-off business stuff content house whatever you want to call it so once that's done i'm gonna have to figure out what i want to do so i still have my dad's house in maryland but i want to have my own we own this property so i figured i'd build a house on it so i'm thinking like a three thousand three three shout what is three thousand ish square foot modern house so a little bit smaller of a size of a house but i want it to be like very modern like batman vibes so that'll be somewhere back here and then we'll have the gym and warehouse so it'll be like a dream home and then my goal later in life is to get a condo in miami um to spend half the year in because it'd be nice to live there when it's cold here in maryland the perk test is good so now i just got to get the floor plan to the to the uh builder whatever it's called and then we go from there so i'll show you guys what i'm thinking about doing for the uh my dream home in maryland and then yeah <laughs> I love that Ethan kept going with me. I'm so happy that he kept going. That was a solid. I'm happy we got that on camera. The car channel. If you guys are asking about that, I posted a car TikTok and people were showing mad love. We're definitely going to run it up. The twins got the, uh, we got a C7 Z06. We got a new ZL1. We have my GT500 and we have the M5 and then possibly might have another car coming in. But yeah, we're gonna go back to the crib and chill for a little bit. I'm like extremely down bad that I'm not able to train the way I want because like I've been training really intense lately. But like, don't like, bro, don't make excuses, bro. Like, I'm still training what I can do. Like, even if you have an injury, like I hate when people have like a leg in injury and they stop training everything. Like, you could still train. You're just using that as an excuse to not train your upper body. Like, you can still train. And there's been studies showing that even if you train the other side of your body more intensely than the other, it will keep more muscle mass on the other side and it increases stuff like like different growth factors. Um, when you when you put stress on your body, so it's good to keep training. If you have an injury, don't use that as an excuse to not train. Don't be a b like actually like still try to do what you can do. I love the air tag. No, the other day we couldn't find her in the house and Ab I wasn't home, but Abby saw the air tag ping up the street. So oh, Abby yeah. took, I saw, I got like the notification on the cameras that Abby was like running outside and she ran down the street to go get Nugget. Nugget, why are you running away? And then I took her outside because she pissed on stairs. You got it so good here. And then she I took know. off, bro. Abby just made me this crunch wrap. Yeah. It was like a low calorie crunch wrap and it was absolutely amazing and apparently it's only like 300 calories, so. It's actually like 280, 290. We gotta make a uh, clip on that. No. I wish I would have showed y'all beforehand, but it's like amazing for locale stuff. Shout out Eel Mix, Code Alex. Max and Drew are in town. I forgot to record that. I think they're at getting Taco Bell right now. So Max is bulking, I guess. I thought he was cutting. What's up with that? What's up with no, that? Y'all hear he said? He said that Flexible he goes out of town, he like takes a break from his diet. We might as well get we might as well get like sushi tomorrow. We gotta we gotta go hit EC Diner again now that they're here. All right, we're rise up again. I'm stuffed up from the cob I just ate. Every time I have like a big meal like that, I get like allergies. Like my throat gets tight. But we're gonna uh, rise up. I'm gonna go get a coffee before I go to get this PRP surgery or injection, so I can relax a little bit. Coffee calms me down. For me, I got pumpkin this time instead of the sugar-free dark mocha because I'm having uh, injections. And I'm scared, so I'm gonna get carbs. It's a good pumpkin. I used to think of fall. I can't wait for fall again. And I'm gonna have you just sit on like the edge here. Dealing with the doctor's office when I was a kid, I used to scream and like you go crazy. Like the kind of to, like, throw They'd have to it. have like two nurses hold me down while the doctor injected me. ridiculous. My... As a kid. I threw a fit. I was a menace. None of that, okay? I was a menace I'll back, back. back here. <laughs> this is gonna suck. So what does this do? What is, what is this supposed to do? So PRP, we're basically taking your growth cells, we spun them down, we always took your blood, spun down the growth cells to get the most concentrated version of it. So it's platelet rich plasma. I had to get this done on my testicles one time. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, big pinch. That's hella weird. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. I'm a, I'm a I told you. Really was. <laughs> it feels like I got. It feels like like if I went full full force and punched the sh out of your shoulder, like right on the top of where the bone is. That's what it feels like right now. Like I feel like I got in a car crash. Like my sh 
feels limp. Like, I feel like, oh, it's like a, oh, man, this is going to suck. <laughs> Abby, I'm going to need to use a heating pad. This shit don't feel right. About to go to a Porsche dealer. I wanted to look at the GT4s, and I got my new cool glasses, so they'll think that I'm, I, um, am not a young kid who's broke. Because whenever I go to a dealership, they think I got like, so they don't give me any attention because they think I'm like broke and I can't afford anything. But I want to look at one of the GT4s. So we're in a GT4 right now. This is not the RS though. This thing feels extremely, it feels good. It's comfy for bucket seats. It's got the fire extinguisher. It's got the uh, strap for the handles, pretty sick. I like it. It's definitely tight though. It's, it's small. The Turbo S definitely had more room. I like it though, it's solid. All right, so shoulders feeling a little bit better. Still kind of like tight and sore. Um, I'm really upset that I'm not gonna be able to pretty much do anything for, she said 48 hours and then she said after that I can start to get my heart rate up. So what I'm gonna do is 48 hours, I'm not gonna lift at all. I'm gonna do very minimal cardio. Um, I'm just gonna try to keep track of what I eat and not overeat because I'm still trying to lose weight. I just saw a fox in the backyard, Abby. And then after the 48 hours, I'm gonna start doing heavy cardio again as well as training, but I'm only gonna train legs and then the right side of my body. So if I have a push day, I'll use my push push muscles is just only on the right side of my body. And then I believe after, I don't know, five to seven, I'll start incorporating some shoulder movements and pressing and stuff on my left side again. And hopefully by then it's feeling a lot better and then we'll be chilling and it's just the same recovery process, PT. And I'll get back to benching and, and lifting with both arms, but hopefully sooner than later. So the biggest thing is like after, every time I dislocate it, I gotta keep my elbow really close to my body in all the movements. So instead of bench pressing for a while, I'm gonna have to be like tucked in very tight, a lot of close grip stuff, but I should be fine. Thank God. That's pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe we got some cool videos planned i have to be a little bit more creative because i'm not able to train but friday we're going to a shooting range and we're gonna have a john wick themed video it's gonna be literally insane like so much fun so i'm excited for that i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you want to see more videos with me and abby give me ideas down below what you want to see with us yeah raw gear drop us today if you guys want to check it out code alex um on raw gear alpha line flex pro and celsius we're trying to hit a million subscribers by summertime so we're Huh? By my birthday, May 23rd. May 23rd, please subscribe and share this video, comment in, comment your favorite moment of, I don't know, just anything, bro. It helps the channel more than you know. But yeah, I love you guys. God bless. Till next time. Peace out.